The purpose of this module is to explain and illustrate defensive organizational skills and not the techniques of tackling which are covered in the RFU's Tackle Safety DVD resource. Effective defense can only be achieved when players work together to deny time and space to the opposition ball carrier and support runners. At both set piece and breakdown situations, the objectives are the same. To minimize the options available to the opposing ball carrier and to regain possession. In order to achieve this, defenders should work as a unit align themselves so that they are able to tackle on either shoulder and have confidence in their inside man. Communication and organization are vital factors, as is an appreciation of the offside law and the responsibility of every player to make their tackles. In this example, where England are defending an Australian scrummage, you can see how the England defenders, working as a unit, put pressure on the Australian backs creating a tackle line some metres behind the Australian gain line. At the breakdown, England reorganise quickly, so that, as a unit, man for man, they cover the opposition. Overall, there are two players staying deep and a sweeper working behind the defensive line. Here you can see that England once again have two players defending deep and a sweeper. Even though the Australians win quick ball, England pressure forces their scrum half to run laterally behind the gain line and the England players are aligned and ready for the Australian change of direction. At the resulting breakdown, Australia recycle the ball and attack the other way. You can see that the deep defenders are moving cross field to cover the possibility of a kick. You can also see that England have maintained their defensive line and will pressurise the Australians' time and space, preventing them from crossing the gain line. From the next breakdown, notice how the tackler rolls away and the defenders remain onside. Australia win quick ball and continue to attack in the same direction. The central deep defender stays deep and covers a cross. The other comes into the defensive line which cuts down the Australian time and space forcing the turnover. Here you can see how England's defence develops from an Australian line-out. As the ball is thrown in, the England backs are in line the regulation 10 metres behind the line of the point of touch. Two defenders remain deep to cover for a kick. The line-out ball is used to attack the midfield and quickly recycled. The attack then continues in the same direction, with the England defence aligned to cover the inside pass used by Australia. As the tackle is made, notice that England still have two deep defenders covering a kick and as Australia recycle the ball in the same direction, the England pressure on their time and space forces a knock-on. From this scrummage, the Australian back row move leads to a ruck from which Australia recycle the ball. The England defence reorganises quickly and crucially all the defenders are careful to remain onside. As soon as Australia move the ball, the objective of the England players is to minimise their options by cutting down time and space. In order to do this, the England defenders work as a unit, arriving at speed, keeping their alignment and have confidence in their inside man to make the tackle. Notice how the outside defender wastes no time in getting back to contest for the ball from an onside position and on his feet. Australia are pressurised into conceding a penalty. When a defence loses its alignment, it can present an opportunity to the attacking team. In this example, notice how one of the South African defenders steps up and in, and the resulting dogleg in their defensive alignment creates an opening which gives England's Charlie Hodgson an opportunity to attack and score. Key factors are 
communication, organization, players' knowledge of the offside laws, the responsibility of every player to make their tackles. Coaching points are Ensure that all players understand how the team is defending. All players should appreciate the importance of calling who is marking whom. All players need to be and remain onside. If the defence is using a one-on-one -on -one marking system, players need to know where they should be standing relative to their opposite numbers. Players should understand how to defend in to out and out to in. Let's take a look at these two types of defence. In this 20 metre by 20 metre grid, you can see that the red defenders move from the inside out. Defenders line up inside their opposite numbers and as the ball is moved, the defenders push the attackers from the inside to the outside. Working within a grid, three defenders against four attackers will still be able to stop the attack. Notice how the middle defender goes up on the inside of his opposite number. The outside defender indicates and calls for the middle defender to move across. He does so, but only when his opposite number has passed the ball. This releases the outside defender to pressure the fourth attacker. When that attacker is forced to move the ball back inside, the middle defender is ready to make the tackle. For an out to in system, defenders line up outside their opposite numbers and as the ball is moved, the defenders push the attackers from the outside to the inside. Working within a grid, an attack can be stopped very quickly. Each defender takes responsibility for an attacker and runs straight before angling their running line in to minimize the opponent's time and space. When viewed from directly behind the defender, the angle of the defender's running line can be clearly seen, out to in. So too can the effect this has in closing down the attacker's options. At a low angle, it is clear that there is a range of defensive roles at a breakdown. This graphic sets out the different roles. There are two players positioned immediately on either side of the breakdown. These are sometimes referred to as guards. The role of a guard is to protect the area immediately next to the breakdown, staying close and covering in case of a close breaking player, a switching player or an inside pass used by the opposition. Ideally, outside each of the guards is a second defender. These are sometimes referred to as bodyguards. The role of a bodyguard is to cover the first channel outside the area covered by the guard. Ideally, outside the bodyguards are the third defenders, whose immediate role is to target the first attacking runner. Immediately behind the breakdown, between the two guards, is a sweeper. Initially, the role of the sweeper is to cover for any opposition player attacking through the middle of the breakdown. Then, once the ball has been moved by the opposition, the sweeper covers across behind the defensive line. Here you can see England's defence operating in breakdown situations. A number of key factors are well illustrated. There is a guard positioned on either side at the point of the breakdown with a sweeper behind. The minimum number of players go in to contest for the ball. All defenders scan and communicate. They ensure the blind side is adequately covered. They ensure that all spaces are appropriately covered with a loading to match the positions of attacking players. When defenders go up, they go up as a line, as fast as the slowest defender. Initially, the defenders move forwards and do not drift until the ball has been moved away from their area of responsibility. Key factors are There is a guard positioned on either side of the breakdown and a sweeper behind the breakdown. The minimum number of players possible go in to contest for the ball. 
Defenders scan what is in front of them and communicate. Defenders ensure the blind side is adequately covered. Defenders ensure that all spaces are covered with a loading to reflect opposition numbers. Coaching points are... When defenders go up, they go up as a line, as fast as the slowest defender. Initially, defenders move forwards. Defenders do not drift until the ball has been moved away from their area of responsibility. With an in-to-out defence, defenders start inside and only move out when the pass is made. The inside defender must communicate. With an out-to-in defence, defenders run straight and then angle in to close down the attacker.